Welcome back, everybody. Today, we're going to do a very simple tutorial on the Dolphin emulator, and we're going to get you started on how to get a game running, give you some basic graphic settings, show you how to configure your controller. This is going to be a very simple and easy guide, and I will have more guides to follow. Let's get started. Click on the first link in the description and that will take you to the Dolphin emulator download page. It has a couple of options under releases. I am running Windows, so I'm going to choose the Windows option and download the Dolphin emulator. You can download it wherever you like. I'm going to save it to my desktop and you can see that it gives you a 7-zip file. Go ahead and extract that file. Then delete the 7-zip file that is left over. You don't need it. You will be left with a folder that has the Dolphin emulator in it. Go ahead and double click to open that up. And before you run the emulator, this is what I want you to do. Right click inside the folder, select new text document and name that portable. Otherwise, many of your files will be saved in your documents folder by default, but this keeps everything in one place. That's the way I like to do it. You're welcome to do it the other way. Once you have the portable text file created, double click dolphin.exe to run the program. You will be hit with a question right off the bat if they can collect data on your experiences in Dolphin. For the developers, you can choose yes or no, up to you. All right, so the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna go set up our graphics. Now, every computer is different. I'm gonna show you what I did for my computer, which is a pretty powerful PC, but I'm gonna show you something really cool. Believe it or not, in 2025, you can use ChatGPT to help you with the settings of this emulator and match it to your PC specs. These days, ChatGPT is turning out to be better than Google. It has been updated with all types of manuals and emulators and guides, and it can actually help you get the best settings for your PC. So here's the prompt. I want you to type in, what settings do you recommend for Dolphin emulator with my setup? I currently have, and then give it four things, your monitor resolution, your CPU, your graphics card, and how much RAM your computer has. Once you submit the question, ChatGPT will spit out a tailored guide for your PC. Now I'm gonna show you what mine looked like. It might not be 100% accurate. I think the last time it was educated was in 2023, but it's pretty darn close. In the general tab, I did Direct3D 11 for my back end, my graphics card for my adapter, auto for my aspect ratio. I marked the checkboxes VSync and compile shaders before starting. In the enhancements tab is where it gets really good and you really get your game looking crystal clear. So let's start with internal resolution and take a look at the drop down menu. You don't have to go overboard with this. You can pretty much match the resolution to your monitor. Games look really good in 3x native, that's 1080p. If you have a 4k monitor, go ahead and do that. But you don't have to get completely insane with the internal resolution. Anti aliasing is another one I see people going really overboard on. 4X multi-sample anti-aliasing or MSAA is fine. For texture filtering, my computer can handle 16 times anisotropic filtering. For post-processing, we'll do FXAA. That shouldn't hit your computer too hard. And that's all I did for this tab. Now let's move to the hacks tab. You know, my goal for this video was really just to play a game in better resolution than I ever had on a TV before with my Nintendo Wii. So I really skipped the hacks tab and moved on to advanced. There really wasn't anything relevant for what I was looking to do today. For the advanced tab, I just checked one checkbox that's enable progressive scan. That's mainly for GameCube games, but good to have checked. Now we're gonna get into a little bit of a complicated part and that is setting up the controller. You know, there are many, many different ways to play Wii games now through Dolphin. Some are better with a controller, some are better with the Mayflash USB sensor bar that you can plug into your PC. Some games are awesome with a mouse and keyboard. I mean, you really have to take it game by game. 
So today I'm going to play Lost in Shadow, and I want to do it with my Xbox controller. And again, we're going to go back to ChatGPT, and we're going to ask it what the best input setup is for Lost in Shadow. So here's your prompt. What controller settings do you recommend for Lost in Shadow using an X input controller? You can change the game, you can change the type of controls, but it will spit you out its recommendation. It's kind of crazy. This wasn't super accurate, but it was pretty close. I was really surprised. I played the game a little bit, went back, tweaked it a couple times, and I saved it as a custom controller, which I'll show you here in a second. So here you can see we have options to set up a GameCube controller, a Wiimote with a Bluetooth adapter for your PC, but for us, we're gonna emulate the Wii's Bluetooth adapter and select Configure. All right, so the first thing to notice is up in the top left, there is Device. I'm going to select X Input from the Device dropdown. Some of the other sections are pretty self-explanatory. There's a section for buttons and the D-pad. All you have to do is click on the gray boxes and then hit the button on your controller that you wanna put into that slot. For instance, A is the button on the Wiimote. We're gonna set that to A on the Xbox controller. B is the trigger on the Wiimote. We're gonna set that to trigger R on the Xbox controller and so on. I will try to find you some resources to look up and I'll put those in the video description, but most of these games have been discussed in a Reddit thread or on the Dolphin wiki as well. Lost in Shadow does require a nunchuck, so I'm gonna go in there and configure the joystick on the nunchuck as well as the Z button for this game. The last step is setting up motion simulation for this game, and this is so interesting. I set the shake of the Wiimote to a trigger, and you can see me there testing it, and it's actually replicating a shake. And for the pointer, I set that to my right joystick on the Xbox controller, and it worked actually really well. Another thing I checked was auto hide down there at the bottom. For some reason, it would just keep the pointer right in the center when setting the joystick up as the pointer and just keep it right on the screen uh, during this game. So I made it auto hide during the game. But finally, when you're done, go up to the top here and type in the name of the game as your controller and hit save. Or at least that's what I do for every game. Now I have a profile for that game. If I want to play it, I just select that controller. Now the last thing to do is open your game file and play it. Dolphin supports different file types. I have the main ones listed below there for you, but all we have to do is hit file, open, and go find your game on your computer. I've showed you guys how to dump them in a different video legally and play it. I'm gonna fast forward and look at this footage. Look how good this game looks. So that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and this really helped you out. Like this video, share this video, comment down below, help each other out, help other people out. And don't be stingy with that subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you want to connect outside of YouTube, I do have a Twitter where I post video game stuff and top 10 lists as well as an Instagram where you can see my collection and pickups. I also have a TikTok. You can see Groot, Rocket, and Gamora, my Great Danes, and shorter videos. And I also have a Facebook page you can follow as well. So I look forward to connecting with you.